this drive. Hey guys, welcome back to CFL Central, CFL content for the fans, by the fans. We have our preview of week 21 of the CFL season coming right up. And without further ado, let's get, but, but first, before we get into that, we got to talk about today's sponsor, which is BetStamp. Now, BetStamp is not a traditional uh, sports betting website, uh, it does not, as it does not offer you one money line. It will actually offer you many money lines from a variety of sources and other betting websites, so that way you can make the most for every bet you make. So make sure when you download it from the App Store or if you use the link in the description below to the website, you will use code CFL Central so that way they know that you're coming from us and you're saving money. So that way you can make the most out of your bets and get the biggest possible payout instead of whatever just your app will offer you. So thanks again to Betstamp for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. So first game of the week is going to be Lions versus Bombers. Could be a precursor to possibly the West Final. Depends on how the West Semifinal goes. Interesting story now. Nathan O'Rourke is back. Nathan O'Rourke is going to be back in the lineup for the Lions. Now, the thing is, is that I believe, and this is just kind of what I've been hearing, and I'm hearing kind of similar reports about Zach Caleros, is that Rourke and Caleros are probably going to play about a quarter each. They're getting it pulled out. I expect either Drew Brown or... Or Prukop to play for the Bombers at that point, and Vernon Adams Jr. to go in for the Lions, get some solid reps in your backups. Um, I, I'm not so sure about this game as a Bomber fan, uh, as I'm not sure who all is back, but one of the guys that is back is Greg Ellingson. Greg Ellingson is finally back for the Bombers. It has been so long, but they finally got him back. I'm excited to see uh, him get ready for playoffs, as he is definitely going to be in your receiving core for that. Agadzowski still out. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think because of uh, some of the injury problems that the Bombers have and some of the guys that probably won't even touch the field, uh, I I'm probably going to give this one to the Lions, to be honest, uh, simply because I, I think they're going to want to play. I'll put it this way. There's a chance that Caleros doesn't play. There's no chance that Rourke doesn't play at least a quarter, simply because... With him being out so long, he kind of has to. Uh, but with Caleros, you don't really have to. It's just kind of, it would be nice to have him for a quarter. But then again, if you want to keep him out to make sure you keep him safe, I completely, completely understand. So because of that decision-making I expect from the Bombers, I expect that the Lions will will win this one. Uh, but our second game of the week is going to be Alouettes versus Argonauts. Again, you're going to see that's a bit of a theme this week. Uh, and yeah, I, I expect just another really close game. There's really nothing to say about it. Another really close game. I think both teams are going to be gearing up for playoffs, but not wanting to play too many starters, but also wanting to put up a good performance as this is kind of a precursor to what we could see in playoffs. So yeah, really nothing to say here. Basically exact same game as last week. Speaking of exact same game as last week, Hamilton versus Ottawa. This feels, I think this is like the third time in a row it feels like that they've played each other. Uh, Hamilton's schedule this year has sucked. It's been terrible. They played like the Argos like five times in six weeks. And then they played like the Red Blacks like three times in three weeks. Something like that. It's ridiculous. Guys, fix your schedule. Like what? It, what is the scheduling CFL? Uh, but yeah, I... I expect Hamilton to win. I expect Ottawa to try to put up a fight just because why not, you know, show some sort of promise, especially when you're the home team for your fans. Uh, but Hamilton, they, they, if they wanted to, they can pull some guys out just to, just to be ready, uh, come playoffs. But, uh, I, I expect that they'll probably just run it as normal to be, to be completely frank, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I'll say Hamilton, but if they pull out a lot of guys, maybe Ottawa. So, yeah. But our last game of the week is going to be Saskatchewan versus Calgary. A game that had meaning last week and has no meaning now because we know exactly where they're going to be. So Saskatchewan, uh, who, who even cares at this point? Just just throw everything up. Throwing, uh, throw everything at the wall and see what sticks. Uh, so I, I expect the, that Saskatchewan's going to try to put up quite a fight simply because, you know, they got, they got to fight for something, for, for whatever's left in the season. 
Uh, but I, I don't know if, I feel like that drive isn't going to be there simply from kind of a demoralization of not being able to make the playoffs. I expect Calgary probably to pull a few guys out, not everyone. Uh, I think Calgary will win simply because I just, I, Saskatchewan doesn't look like they're there right now. They just, they look out of it. And, you know, I, Riders fans, it's got to be unfortunate for you, man, but it, it is what it is. And hopefully you guys can kind of retool and get ready for the next season. Uh, not much you can do about that. It'll happen to every team, and it's just kind of happening to you guys right now. So, yeah, that's, that's just kind of the, the, the preview of this week of football. There's really not that much to talk about, uh, simply because it's kind of frustrating that there's so many rematches immediately, uh, because I, I I already said what I wanted to say about it before, and I just... I. There's only so many times you can say something before it seems redundant. So, yeah, it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video regardless, though. I'm sorry it was a little lackluster. Uh, but it, it, I just, I, there's only so many times I can say the same thing. Uh, but, yeah, make sure you guys like, uh, like, share this around, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time.